Hello, this is JBZ1 and welcome to my video of the division. This time, I'll be showing you guys my ballistic shield build, which you can use to tank most of the damage and also good for grabbing threats. I tested this build for soloing underground to clear sky incursion in heroic mode, which led my finger to become numb by pressing too much buttons because pistol you have to press button to shoot so the pistol that I'm using in this build is Centurion it's the name weapon which you can buy it in a base of operation I'll explain why later to increase my damage on my pistol this is what I did by stacking headshot damage elite damage and enemy armor damage the result is I do about 95k 200k which is pretty high damage for a pistol you could also PvP with this build but you gotta put the right piece or else you'll get melted but right now this is great for PvE content the gear setup that I'm using are three high ends and three hunters fate the reason why I choose this set is because Hunter's Fate gives you 20% headshot damage with optimal range, which will have a nice effect on your pistol. Since the pistol has range penalty, so the farther you shoot, the less damage you do. And for the high ends, what I have for my armor is Figure's chest piece because it's really good with a booster shot. Then for my gloves, of course, you want to have a decisive gloves. That's a 35% headshot damage by using a pistol. And then the backpack you want to have this is resourceful because you can heal your shield. And all my gear mods are electronics and skill power. So now let's have a quick look at my gears. Starting with my chest piece, I'm just gonna do a quick scroll on all my gear. So here we go. That's what it looks like. In exotic damage resilience, you can either change that into um, damage to elite, do more damage. But right now, I just put an exotic damage resilience on that one. Mask. I have uh, damage to elites and enemy damage armor on it. Or if you want to change it to a skill power, it's up to you. But I just want to do more damage. As you can see right there. My knee pads. Of course again armor with enemy armor damage and you see that increased kill exp and i use first aid self heal instead of like the ballistic shield damage resilience it's really up to you what uh, performance you guys use so i use uh, first aid self heal instead because i don't have ballistic uh, performance mod so that's why i used it all right um for my backpack, here's the resource, resourceful. I have a skill power on it, and those are my mods. And here's my gloves. It's decisive gloves, which gives you a headshot damage on your pistol. It gives you 35% more damage. So we see there, damage to elite, pistol damage, and critical hit chance. And my holster, I didn't put armor since I'm use, using a Rodeo shield, so that's why I'm using pistol damage. It's again, it's really up to you if you want to put armor, but I just want to do more damage. So now, my main weapon is my pistol, so you don't have to worry about your secondary, it's really up to you. If your shield got destroyed, just use a sniper with a cold headed so that's why I'm using this one
And now my main weapon is my Centurion. Why? It's because this thing has three talents on it. Because all the pistol in a game it has only one talent with um, expert. So this one has two on it. Which the last bullet gives you 60 more damage. And I changed the, the fire one, the first shot. Turns them to fire. And I switched that to cool headed, which is every shot reduced by cooldown by 5%, which is really good. So every time I land a headshot, I reduce my cooldown on my heal. And I'll scroll down. Here are my mod. So now let's have a look at my stats on my pistol. See, I have 11 critical. Headshot. I'll just go quick through it. Bat. 17 to lead. 18 to enemy armor. This one can go higher to about like 20 plus. If your armor has elite damage. There you go. I have a skill haze? I don't think I have skill haze. Anyways, again, you're using a shield, don't worry about your armor mitigation because every time you use a shield, you gain like 10% damage reduction, so it's taking up from the armor you lost. Exotic, 10% from my armor, there you go, it's default. And now for the skill that I'm using is booster shot, of course, because again, it gives you damage reduction, increase your your damage, and this one, assault shield. This is most of your DPS coming from, because it gives you twenty percent more damage increase. But if you're gonna go incursion heroic, I suggest using this one, because it gives you more health on your shield. So you gotta try to grab aggro as many as you can, and then just like you know. Take, take the hit basically because this one you can still use it at the same time but at the same time it can get that get destroyed quick so I suggest using this for incursion but it's really up to you if you can handle it and yeah and the reason why I don't use uh, support healing station with the shield because it sometimes it bugs out I, that he got stuck like you can't even use any skill like he just got stuck completely that's why you don't use a uh, support station with the uh, shield sometimes it happens but I suggest like using a booster shot instead and the talent I'm using is this one you really have to be uh, we can just make sure you have this three not really much to pick. You can either use precision or triage if you want to heal your ally. Even adrenaline is not bad also. Just remember you're in shield so every time you just use this you just cover in your shield and you get like overhealed. And yeah med, med kit works healing your shield. So yeah, <clears throat> really helps. So this, make sure you have this three, this one, and this one also. It's not much to choose from, to be honest. And anything I miss, here you go. Again, booster shot. I mean, yeah, booster shot because I have bigger chest, chest piece. He heals me heal thing I miss let's do a quick test remember this is just a default damage so you'll do more damage when you up against NPC with armor and of course elites so my default 
that's without shield it's about 58k and with the shield on about 70k and with a booster shot and about to 85k 86 so that's pretty high remember every time you land a headshot look at my the cooldown on my booster shot so I just keep doing and doing it doing it and doing it and doing it <laughs> I don't know why it didn't stock I guess it it doesn't stack we have to wait until the the booster shot cooldown to get another stack because if you use it again like this one it doesn't stack I guess I don't know so I just just wait until your booster shot runs out then use it again remember you do more damage on NPC than these dummies and yeah Well, that's all for this build and I hope you find this video useful for your future or present build. More builds to come and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Till then, this is JBC1. This is me saying goodbye.